today we're going to be checking out the Fly 3 Charge from Blackstar. Good afternoon and welcome. How's it going, everybody? I hope everyone out there is doing well. If you don't know, my name's Miles. I do music stuff here. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. You know what the deal is here. We're going to be talking about music stuff related to new products that are out on the market, things of that nature, music theory, all that stuff. But today we're going to be focusing in on one particular product, the Fly 3 Charge from the company Blackstar. So what we have here is a two-channel, three-watt amplifier from the company Blackstar. It's only three watts. It's, it's wild. It features Blackstar's patented infinite shape feature, which is in reference to the EQ, and we'll talk a little bit more about it later. It also features a digital tape delay, as well as the ability to connect to a external device via Bluetooth. So if you want to play music through it, you can do that and play along with it. And at a full charge, the battery can last for 18 hours. So let's go ahead and talk about the controls that are on this thing. The controls on this thing are laid out in a way where everything is very clear and straightforward. You don't really need additional explanations for any of the controls that are on here. But let's still go through them just to make sure that everyone's on the same page. So first up, we have the knob that controls the level of gain, whether you're on the clean or the dirty channel. And yeah, that's what it does. It introduces saturation to your signal. Done. Right next to that, we have the button that controls switching between the clean and the overdrive channel on the amp. And then we have the volume knob. Guess what it does? Now after that, we get to the EQ knob, which brings us back to the topic of this patented infinite shape feature that Blackstar has on their amplifiers. So while you're switched to the clean channel, you have the knob that serves as a singular control for your equalization as far as your overall tone. But when you're in the overdrive channel, the same knob allows you to switch from the qualities of a UK style distortion all the way over to what would be a US style distortion. So there's different characteristics between the two and you can hear them and you can kind of switch between them and blend them how you want to, which is pretty cool. After that, we have the knob that controls the delay as far as the level of the delay itself. It's not controlling the rate of it. The next control after that controls the delay time. And beyond those controls, we have inputs for an MP3 player, say your phone or your computer. And then we also have an input for headphones if you want to use the amplifier, but without it being amplified and projecting sound out of its own speaker. So those are your controls with this thing. But, um, how does it sound? Let's find out. Here we go.
guitar is a little noisy. <laughs> So with my first experience with this amplifier, I found that it can get very, very loud. Considering that it's three watts, it's impressive how loud it can get. That initial example that we just did with me playing through it, the amplifier was over here, but the microphone that was picking up the sound is over here, right below where the camera is presently. And even with the gain set to a low level on the clean channel, it cleans up nice and still projects very well. So as far as that's concerned, I'm impressed. I also appreciate the fact that this amp is a two channel amp and it isn't just going from being quiet to like broken radio distortion. It has clarity to it. It has additional features in the form of the digital tape delay. And um, yeah, it's probably gonna stay on my desk. <laughs> Plus the fact that I can keep it on for 18 hours is absolutely bonkers. Now, like I had mentioned before, in addition to the controls that are on the top of the amplifier, you also have the ability to connect a MP3 music player source, say like your phone or your computer. You can also connect headphones in the case that you don't want everyone around you to know that you're trying to learn a song from Machine Gun Kelly. But you can also connect to a separate sound source, like a PA system, in the case that you want everyone to know that you are an MGK stan and you're not ashamed. But in addition to all of that, you also have the ability to connect to whatever your music source may be via Bluetooth, which makes it that much easier to play along with whatever you're listening to because now you don't have to deal with like combating all the wires that you would otherwise have to deal with. So that's awesome. Additionally, if you get your hands on the Blackstar Fly 103 extension cab, you can connect it to this amplifier, and then you have the two speakers working in conjunction with each other in a stereo fashion. So that's pretty cool. So say you want to use this simply as a music source, something that you can play music through via Bluetooth. Now you connect this secondary speaker, you have a stereo setup, and you could play your songs in a party sort of scenario and it'll last for 18 hours on a full charge. That's amazing. Now, in addition to all the other features that are on this amplifier, one of the other things you can do is take the headphone jack and also use it as an emulated amp out for recording. So we should check out what that sounds like.
Overall, I don't really have anything too critical to say about this amp. If there was anything that I wanted to nitpick about, I'd say that the material that the amp is made out of, um, it's prone to finger marks immediately. So if you don't want it to look like it's been used once you take it out of the box, g give up on that because it's going to get covered in prints. But that's like the only negative. <laughs> I like the fact that this thing is so small and still is very loud, but maintains clarity in terms of that volume that's associated with the sound of this amplifier. And its small size allows you to bring it wherever you want to. So if you want to bring your amp with you to work and when you have some downtime, you can jam at your desk or something like that, this is the amp to get. I also appreciate the fact that you have the option to use this in terms of recording. I know everyone out there doesn't have the money to go out and get themselves a fancy amplifier or get like an abundance of different amp sims and stuff of that nature, but now you have basically the best of both worlds where you can use this in a real life scenario or you can use it in a digital scenario. So it offers you an abundance of flexibility and for $130 it's a lot of features for not a lot of cost. And it should also be noted that Blackstar doesn't just make this version of the Fly 3 amp specific to electric guitar. They also have models that are more specific to bass and acoustic instruments. And I'll have down below in the description more information that you can find at Blackstar's website. But with that, that's all I have for you guys for today. Big thank you to Blackstar for making this video possible. I appreciate them responding to me when I reached out to them and for sending me this amplifier to check out. I've really been enjoying it and I hope you're able to get your hands on it as well because it's pretty cool and it's worth checking out. And I thank you, the viewer, for checking this video out at all. I hope you found it to be interesting and informative. And if you like what I'm doing here and you haven't done it already, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I'm trying to grow this channel so that more people can see these videos when I put them out. And it's a, it's a whole small amount of effort that goes a whole long way. So uh, help me out. And if you like what I'm doing on this channel and you want to support my endeavors further than just liking and subscribing, I'll have a link in the description down below to my Patreon where you can check out what perks will be attached to your contributions to the channel. Or you can check out that button that's below this video that says Super Thanks. And you can use that as well. But that's all I have for you guys for now. Thank you again to Black Star. Thank you again to you. I hope to see you in the next video. Keep playing. Peace.